This is what week 13 of Run Disney Princess Challenge training looks like. No training, just sitting here. Tuesday night. I tested positive Saturday. So Saturday, Friday night was when I came out with sy symptoms. So that's day zero. Saturday is day one. Sunday two. Tuesday four. Wednesday five. I get out on Thursday. So literally all I've been doing is sitting on this couch, sleeping, working, going to bed. My initial goal was to push off my 11 miles from week 12 on to week 13, but then I did some research on running and COVID, and I found out that if you push yourself too far with running after you're better, you can give yourself long COVID. So definitely don't want that, which means this next weekend, I'm going to see if I can try and do the four miles, and then the 30 minutes easy, 30 minutes speed, but it's not going to be speed. It's going to be whatever I can do. Also, <clears throat> I wanted to show you something really cool with a Garmin. My Garmin measures my stress levels and it really showcased when I found out, which was Saturday in the afternoon. If you look at the screenshot right here, um, I was feeling a little icky, but then once I tested, I literally just sat on the couch for the rest of the day and didn't do anything. You can see the second it hit and it stayed that whole day. And I had horrible sleep that night. So leading into the next day, there was still a lot of like orange stress. And then the next day I really, it came down a little bit. <coughs> I'm lucky that I'm able to work from home. Otherwise I'd be off this whole week. Um, and yeah, so Monday, Today, actually, yeah, there was some stress involved, but Sunday I really got to like evenly stress, nap, stress, nap, stress, nap. Um, but last night was really good sleep. So, happy about that. I really want to do Princess, and I don't want this to impact it. And I know it's six weeks away, so it's really like not, this isn't that close to it. But I'm sad that it had to happen. I have to just take it one day at a time. This is definitely a first world problem, but still, it's not fun to be sick, so I'll see you guys. I don't know when I'll see you guys. I really don't. Happy Saturday. I'm currently driving, uh, obviously, as you can tell. Um, just went to a uh, book club and then had brunch with my friends, which the brunch part wasn't part of the plan, but I'm definitely happy I did it, even though obviously I've been putting off my running because of it but I think I have enough time to run four miles. I tested negative on Thursday. Thursday I went for about a mile and a half walk, 30 minute walk, real slow, um, still very icy out, so definitely had to be careful. And then yesterday I did do an interval run and I did pretty well. I did have some side stitches um, and that is because my lungs are having trouble which of course they are because clearly you're getting over a respiratory illness. Your lungs are gonna have trouble. My heart rate was actually pretty good, all things considered. So I'm off to do four miles today. I am feeling a little weak right now, so I'm definitely gonna be drinking some water. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. What we can be, life with no distractions. Definitely get to do away. More breaks. And I don't know if that's either the cold or COVID. The act tracks are great. I can run at full speed without any fear or slipping. They're really cutting in to the snow and potential ice. Mile one is 1325, and it felt really hard. And I don't know why. I need to keep taking walk breaks. 
unfortunately. I think with time it'll go away. That's what I'm gonna keep telling myself. There's lots of like weirdly tracked snow. I'm on a good part right now, but you have to run like narrow. It's weird. See, this one's better. I'm wearing a base layer, a Nike layer, a thermal, and then this jacket. It did say the wind chill was negative 14, so that's why I did that. My lungs have to just get used to running again, even though it's only been five days. in my head. I'm just feeling exhausted, overheated in my head. Um, I took a layer off and I took a break and a water break in between, but it's just not easy. It's just, I think part of it's the snow. I think it's a little bit of everything. I'm also running late, of course, because I am going slower than I had anticipated. The yak tracks are working really well. I haven't really been slipping or anything. I still have a mile and a half. I wish I only had one mile. So it's 35 minutes and I am being hard on myself. And I know I shouldn't be hard on myself, but I am. And I feel bad because I'm supposed to be somewhere. I'm also wearing two hats, as you guys know. So that might have something to do with it too. I do have a hairbrush in my car, so that'll help, but I don't have makeup. Light with the lights out, die with my own doubts. My watch keeps yelling at me that I'm too slow because I'm supposed to be running a magic mile right now. No magic mile for me. Less than half a mile left. And then I'm done. Treadmill until this dang snow melts treadmill it is. Because I refuse to do this again. I almost twisted my ankle two times because the stupid uneven snow. So I'm just walking on this. I don't think I'm supposed to, but I don't even care. Because guess what? I'm not gonna break my ankle out of courtesy. I'm just not gonna break my ankle. Because no, I'm not. And if that makes snow skiers mad, I don't care. Oh, they're coming anyway, so I'm gonna have to move over. All right. Can you see how bad my hair looks right now? It's not even funny. I'm disappointed in myself, but I did the best that I could. It's just not good enough. It's not gonna be like this forever. It just felt so hard to do the bare minimum. That is my normal bare minimum. I will see you guys on Monday. This doesn't end this week because I'm combining week 13 and 14. Because week 13 is pretty much half non-existent. Week 14 is gonna actually be on track again. This is the only thing that I have not checked off. Everything else is there. Hi friends, and welcome to week 14. It's currently 8.30 p.m. on a Tuesday. I have a 30 to 45 minute easy run treadmill, as you can tell. I live in Chicago and it's winter. I would not be wearing a tank top outside. I Taking the garbage cans out today was a struggle um, because our driveway was just a sheet of ice, unfortunately. I have a huge work day tomorrow, so I have to go to bed early. Um, and clearly I've been procrastinating, so it's gonna be a 30 minute zone two run. Peak week is in two weeks. What happened? This training module has just flown by, seriously. Like, I've really gotten used to the routine of it all. Four full weeks left, and that includes this week. So after this week, three full training weeks left because week 18, I do one run and then it's race week. So Monday was a full body day. Um, I'm really running a half marathon this weekend. I missed my previous long run, so I don't know how ready I feel about it, but you can tell I'm not, I'm excited to do it, but I'm also nervous.
2.01, just over two. I always do 0.01 because it's Strava. 33, 34, 16, 42 average. Okay, listen up, ladies, because guess what? I had side stitches on both of my sides. And I don't know if it's because of my breathing or water or what, but it's not good. <laughs> One, my eye is extremely red and I don't know why. Did I run yesterday when I was supposed to? No. Nope. I did not. I was tired and lazy. I was like literally point blank lazy. I have been going a lot. Once I was nonstop from 5 a.m. to um, 11 p.m. So then yesterday, it was not like 8 to 2, then I like napped, and then I like couldn't do it. Still have three runs to do, and there's only three days left in the week. I think I'm gonna do four miles today. I'm literally exhausted, and I need to make up my sleep because I've been getting like six hours, five hours the past few days, and it's definitely messing with me. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys later. 308. Good morning, happy Saturday. This is gonna be quick because my battery is low and I have coffee and I need to go. I just finished my book club, it's 10 o'clock. I have 12 and a half miles to run. My family's having a brunch at 11.30 and there is no way in heck I'm making that. So we are headed straight to the Forest Preserve. I actually didn't finish yesterday. So um, I can just let you know how that went. Yesterday I had, so I did four miles on the treadmill. It took me 53 minutes. It was like a 13 something average. The two miles, the first mile I did around 11 minute and then the two miles in between, I just walked at like a 15 minute pace. Just could not get myself to run, so I'm gonna run now. Yeah, uh, this week has just been me running around, basically. To summarize it, now it's time to run around again. Y'all, when I say I'm a little nervous to run, I'm not kidding, cause look at that. I think that was all snow. I hope that was all snow, because I don't know what else that would be, but that is a lot of water. So my route may have to be updated. Um, I really need to be saving the battery right now but we've got our headphones, I've got this guy. I will see you guys on the trail. Guess what guys, I'm back in the car. No, it's not two hours later, it's actually 10 minutes later. Cause guess what, I'm not doing it today. And you know that's a lot coming from me, especially as someone who literally missed her last long run that she was supposed to do two weeks ago. But I started trying to run on the path and it's literally all ice. It's not even, it's like sludge and ice. No snow, not humanly possible. There's basically no one here. Um, if it's not ice, it's water. It's just, the conditions just aren't it. I was slipping and sliding, just trying to walk. It's gonna be tomorrow. I'm doing my speed run today. I did miss my speed run Thursday. I can't control everything and that's okay. You can't control everything. You can only control what you do. You can't control the weather or the path that you're trying to run on and you have to adapt to it and I'm getting really frustrated because I'm trying to adapt to it. And two weeks ago, I adapted to stupid COVID that I had and couldn't even do it at all. And clearly that's been mentally messing with me the past two, however many weeks, because I'm still upset that I never was able to do it um, because I really did want to do it and I want to be on top of my training and I want to be like prepared and I feel underprepared right now. And the fact that I'm choosing to miss another run is making me feel like I am not preparing myself. I'm very hard on myself, I know, but it's just extremely frustrating when you are really trying to get something done and it's not working out. Like, I'm not missing this run. I'm doing it because I need a run that is longer than 10 miles for me to feel like I can do this half marathon. Even though I've done a half marathon before, it was in May of last year and it is currently January. That is almost like a year ago that I've run that far. I'm driving past part of the trail right now. There's water everywhere. This would have been horrible. 
in more ways than one. Just running 12 and a half miles without all that is hard enough, let alone all the obstacles. And the treadmill is hard mentally. I'm just mad about it. That's just how I feel at the moment. I am frustrated with this situation. I'm sorry for my rant. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm not even gonna record my speed run because I'm just, I can't do it. I cannot do it right now. I Before I cut to tomorrow, just figured I'd give you my stats. 2.1 miles total, 30 minutes, seven seconds, 1421 average. I was mostly in zone four, not zone five. I was 9.30 for 0.25 of a mile and then two minutes of walking six times. So I've done this like five times before. So I'm used to it, but we'll see you guys tomorrow when I actually run. Now I have to go shower before my family comes to my house and we have brunch. Hey guys, it is now Sunday. It's 10 a.m. and I'm on my way to the park that I'm going to run at. It is in fact drizzling. So that's why I'm wearing this rain jacket. I've had a couple crazy driving experiences this week. I was driving all over the Chicagoland area. I almost got hit by this one car this week. I was driving in my lane and they, sh crazy lady. She was driving a Jaguar and I give this context specifically because that car is extremely expensive and I can only imagine how expensive it is to fix a Jaguar after crashing into somebody's car. She started just going into me. Like I was next to her, like she started just going into me. No joke. I slammed, no signal or anything either. I slammed on that horn. I slammed on it. I was like, get away from me. And if I didn't break, she would have hit me. I broke, she cut me off. She was literally veering into my car. She was gonna sideswipe me. So when that kind of thing happens, get away from the other person. They are a hazard to you and everyone around you. So I move in the other lane. I'm trying to pass her and she does it again. Two times, same deal. This time she actually does stop. I slam on the horn again. I turn to look at her and she's got crazy eyes. She just sits there blankly and looks at me. Like she doesn't look mad. She just sits there and looks at me and she's still clearly shaken up about it. At that point, my fight or flight had already been triggered once, but being triggered twice, my hand was shaking like this. When I got out of my car to go into the store that I was going to, my legs were shaking for like 20 minutes afterwards. I know that was probably just a one-off, but nevertheless, you never know who's out there and what they're doing, but it really did confuse me because if you have a really fancy car, why would you try and hit someone? Maybe for insurance money. And it wasn't already damaged before from what I could tell. So I don't know. It's just gonna be something that I will never be able to understand. I tried to analyze the situation and could not find a reason. Okay, so let's go through everything that I have because I did talk about it yesterday, but now that I have time, I can show you. I don't have to run around rushing. Last year, my lips were really good at not being chapped and despite me running outside all the time, but this year they're back to chapped again. I don't My lovely friend got, work friend got me this chapstick and little does she know how much I need this. So I'm going to use it right now. Clearly I have my little jug four goos, berry, strawberry, banana, vanilla, and blackberry. I brought two honey stingers just in case if I really am exhausted. And then my friend got us these Alani gummies. And I don't even think they're for running, but I was like, I'm just gonna have them anyway because they're sweet. And if they've got sugar in them, this is basically running a half marathon, which is actually kind of terrifying to think about. And then I have my phone and my GoPro and my headphones and my music. So that's, that's pretty much a quick summary of it all. Sometimes our best isn't our actual best, but that's okay. And by that I mean like fastest or best performance. But So I will see you guys on the trail. Mile one was 36. It is still quite icy on here, but not as bad as yesterday's trail. After I finished the first loop, Gonna go grab my app tracks from the car, put those bad boys on, keep going. Not looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde. Mile two, 1109. That is a negative split, which is kind of crazy, but I better slow down. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We 
11.23. Also, I forgot how in the winter how much your nose will run. It is annoying. But also, it's time for my first goo, Jet Blackberry. I'm out for 14.14, so definitely slowing down. Lots of snow and ice. And then, this is all water. It's my own fault for choosing to go on this. I should have just stayed on the road trail. Also, it's extremely windy, which means when I turn around, it won't be windy, hopefully. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. state of my shoes. I was running through the water and the slush and wasn't thinking and then realized that the last time I did that, blisters. Like, kind of common sense. My mama is coming to walk at the same forest preserve. She hasn't come yet, so I called her immediately and was like, can you please bring me new socks and shoes? And so she's coming to bring me new socks and shoes, which is really sweet. Thank you, mom. I'm lucky I can rely on her. Otherwise, I would just be braving this through the blisters and injuring myself. Also, my yak tracks don't want to stay on right now. I don't know why they keep coming forward on my shoe. I just keep my eyes on the road and focus at this point. So I'll cut you back in a little bit. That's how much is left, by the way. That is not how much I've run. 16, 18. Just gotta get out of here. Once I get back on the road, I'll be fine. See how it keeps falling off? It's low key annoying. I'm almost back though, I think. I hope. I did this to myself. Now that I've been walking for like 15, 20 minutes, I am freezing. Because when you run, you dress for obviously feeling warmer. So I'm not wearing a winter jacket and it's like 38. Lesson learned. One, keep extra shoes in your car. Two, keep extra sh socks in your car. Three, don't, just don't trust the trail on days like this. Even if you think it should be fine. And just like that, I'm back. Mile seven, 1107. Y'all, I feel so good. I'm just happy to be back on the pavement. I've never appreciated pavement more in my entire life. I've got my new shoes and socks on, thanks to my mom. She's a real one. Just under four left. I can do that. That's like Friday's run. 11.53, I think, is what it said. 13.27, mile 10. The exhaustion's starting to hit now, which is what happened with my half marathon. I'm gonna take goo number three now. Home stretch. My knee and my hip here are both in pain. I'm gonna use the massage gun. We'll see how that goes. 12 miles, 13.08. Did it, 12 and a half, done. All right, y'all, I'm showered. And that's gonna wrap up week 14. We did it, got it done. Strava actually said that was one of my top three performances of all time, so kind of surprised considering three miles were pretty bad with the snow and walking. So that means I've got more in me, which is really exciting. Feeling a lot less anxious now that I've completed basically a half marathon. Um, I feel like I can really do this. And I will have one more long run for peak week in two weeks. But Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next week for week 15. Bye!